and the first men's semifinal and the first women's semifinal will both feature Vermont and North Carolina. The two-time defending champs in both the men's and women's divisions will be tested by the boys and girls from the Green Mountain State. The observers have brought it back. As traditional as college ultimate, the do-over works out well. Emphatic spike from Ben Dameron. He'll get the goal. After they played early this morning at 8.30 a.m., winning around 10, 10, 15. Now they're back 100 minutes later to take on the two-time reigning champs and looking long. Deep shot in the air. A layout catch for James Cairn. This is exactly what Declan Kervik wants to do program that maybe doesn't have quite as much structure or definition, but Vermont obviously is really onto something with what it's building with both teams. Rutledge Smith is open in the end zone. Singleton gets the assist. They beat Brown in the quarters this morning. They beat Ver they'd have to beat Vermont today and they could potentially see UMass in the final tomorrow, Zudis coming from behind against Texas moments ago as the deep shot goes up, looking for Carl Crawford, and Vermont is dialed in. There's a ton of talent, there's a ton of rigor, but at a certain point, sometimes, their inability to adapt outside the confines of their system can undo them. Dameron floating it deep, back of the end zone, Singleton ruled inbounds for the goal. Oh, that was so close. Did he keep that toe down? Watching it live, I didn't think he did. Quick give and go with his teammate Standard. Vermont's had a couple of hucks, taking their time this time, and it works just as well. Kervik finishes it, and we're tied 3-3. They just had to find confidence and execute better. And the presence of mind to trust that is huge. Game's first turnover as Singleton comes up unsuccessful with a bid. First break chance belongs to Vermont. Deep shot. Ponzio sent it way too far. Great presence of mind by Dylan Hawkins to peel off his assignment and also be in the area. Granted, the throw was still too far. Singleton looking for Dameron. Double team chasing. Dameron reads it and skies them both. Flipping it to Feagans. And dark side delivers. Ben Dameron, big game, big plays. Keeps dark side in front. Man on man matchup defense. Thornton perseveres in the small space. Pretty good defense by Harmony on Kervik, and the more difficult throw denied by... Roberts was striking the perfect balance between slightly poaching but still being able to make the play. Harmony's deep shot out of bounds, and Eli Standard ensures that it won't come back. Acromatic big bid from Noel. And now another deep shot looking for Kervik, and it's McKnight. I beg your pardon, Pignoni. Get your defense back on the field, the fresh line. Second break chance to the point. Trowbridge ahead and looking long. Two targets there. McCleary able to make the catch. And dark side breaks to go up 5-3. What an effort from Brown this morning. Salute to Jacques Nissen, Leo Gordon. Jake Smart, but the Carolina defense can be suffocating. Well, that's indicative of the patience that this group has and how important it is to value possession over forcing an end zone shot. And right on cue, Andrew Lee gets a little too greedy. Dark side. Excellent with their fire calls. Over the top, tough throw. Crawford is there. Excellent vision and execution from Sickles. Basically no wind. Physical defense from Payson on the mark. Dameron throws it behind McKnight. It's a turnover. First one ended with a Ponzio incompletion. Here's Kuchan underneath. 
Vermont native, but he began his college career at Oregon. And here's another deep shot. Chase Drinkwater versus Dylan Hawkins. And it is ripped down by Drinkwater for the score. And we are tied at five here in the first men's semi. Drinkwater putting Hawkins on a poster and letting him and the audience know about it. The break side. Yes, Ryan! Singleton low throw, Dameron runs it down. In the red zone, a floater and a bid won't work for, Dark, uh, for Vermont as Smith scores again. Two goals, one assist for Rutledge Smith. A place the Jungsts know well. Anders out of eligibility. We'll see Ella in semifinal number two, and we'll see a dark side break chance right here. Dan Zhu back for Noel. Noel threw the break to McCleary, and he throws a turn here. That's essentially what it did in battling the Cal zone. Great effort from Kervik, but the swing was too far. Carolina, one for four on break chances. This is their fifth opportunity. Lee has an open man. Eli Freed unable to get there. UNC won its first title in 2015, won again in 2018, and then two more in 21 and 22. And only two programs in the history of ultimate, men's ultimate, that have won more than four championships. Wide open man deep. And there's no pick call. Dark side, looking to get to seven first. McKnight finds the open side cut. I mean, how many more times is Rutledge Smith just going to be able to charge to that fourth side cone? You need Billy Sickles and Crawford and Kervik and company to face more pressure. You're not necessarily going to stop them but you're going to have to make them work harder against top matchups. Sickles over the top, connects with Kervik. Intelligent switching there from the Vermont defenders with Singleton attacking up line. Heck of a job on the mark, and the throw forces the bid, and he's out of bounds. Singleton this time could not stay in. Dark side with seven turnovers now in the half. Vermont has six. And now seven as well. Dark side was down at the half against Brown. Got a break at 10 all. And then holds the rest of the way to win 15 14. Hawkins looking long. Pignoni reads it perfectly. And dark side takes half, 8-7. Looking long, it's a floater. Contested and denied. But a foul called. What I freed, thought he had the block on Ponzio. Observer ruling, there's no foul on this play. We're gonna restart play with a check. And Vermont turns it quickly to start the second half. Looking for almost everything on the shot for McKnight, which is ripped away by Sickles. Sickles deep block. I love the competitiveness that we're seeing here. And it's Harley on the undercut. Looking once in the first half here against Vermont. But looking to pick up their second break. And sees control. Pignoni on the doorstep. Flips it into the end zone. Great to see him back and healthy after the injury he sustained on one of the old T-World broadcasts in 2021 in Norco. And also great to see Seamus Robinson back competing for a slow. Great to see smooth offense from Vermont. Hawkins wide open. Dangerous throw, and it's incomplete. Looking for Dameron, but Drinkwater was right there. Drinkwater's going deep. He'll have a chance. Drinkwater, oh, what a catch! Sweeping the arm to tie the game.
We're seeing redemption arc after redemption arc as this game unfolds. Drink water right there defensively. Breaking the mark beautifully, Dameron to Smith. Dameron, good help defense, but Smith recognized it, found McKnight, the open man, and then on the recovery, it was Dameron who was wide open in the end zone. Only UC Santa Barbara in men's ultimate has won more titles than North Carolina. And Dark Side will have a break chance here. Freudian slip on my part. It was John Sickles, his relative Billy Sickles, the iconic Philadelphia figure in my brain. Deep shot. Oh, perfection. Pignoni puts it on a platter. Thornton moves it. Now downfield, it's Crawford to Ponzio. Floating it. Did he put too much on it? He did. Vermont isn't comfortable. And Andrew Lee really ripping this one long. Roberts and others in pursuit, and it's Roberts who just makes the excuse me catch and then calls a foul as his continued throw got blocked. The stands filling up here at King's High School, letting Roberts know that they did not think that looked like a foul. So the ruling is the disc was released. It is not a foul. We're gonna check the disc in here. Supporting from the sidelines after suffering a concussion. End zone, Crawford, no. Too much sauce on it. Looking long, and that one floats beautifully for Daniel Zhu. And Vermont player shaking up the throw to Henry Chen will come back. We restart with a dark side turnover. You gotta be kidding me. Leaping, Ponzio, middle of the field. Vermont into the red zone. Crawford up the line on the money and success as Vermont marches the full 70. Winner of this game advances to tomorrow's championship game at 1.30 p.m. Eastern live on ESPNU and Matt McKnight Reasserts the dark side offense. UNC 12, Vermont 10. Needs a hold and then at least two breaks to win this game. Now they've broken dark side twice already. But dark side's going to have their 11th break chance of the game right here. Track it down. Looking long for Harley. Perfectly placed but dropped. And an errant reset. Pignoni. Pignoni has been the finisher. This time just short of the end zone in the dish. Defender Roberts was just hanging out in the deep space, but kind of by himself. And Vermont turns it over. Earlier today, Vermont was eight all with Pitt before Chill stormed to win 15-10. Dark side, a different beast. And that is a score. Roberts. Obviously, Vermont would love to score five straight here, but this is a point to have fun, play loose, and try to have one more moment. The deep shot will be tracked down. It's Chase Drinkwater, who has made a name for himself here at College Nationals this year for the fifth straight College Nationals. Got to go all the way back to the last time Nationals were outside of Cincinnati. And Wilmington knocked him off behind the heroics of Jack Williams, but dark side will not be denied as Rutledge Smith moves on to his third championship game. Dark side, 15-11 over Vermont. And North Carolina is one more win away from a three-peat. 